And with that, let's welcome in an open, uh, a welcoming address from Jackson Hole Mayor Haley Morton Levinson. Welcome, Haley. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Nice to see everyone virtually. Um, I wanted to uh, welcome everyone, no matter where you may be, to the town of Jackson. One of the silver linings of the COVID pandemic is that we have now embraced the technology to zoom in from wherever we may be. I wanna take a moment to recognize the Jackson Hole Center for Global Affairs for putting on this event, but most importantly for all the work you've been doing in our community and beyond as climate leaders since 2002. I'm grateful for your organization leading the way and partnering with so many different organizations and people to make positive and meaningful changes in our world. The greater Yellowstone ecosystem, which our town sits within, is the largest intact ecosystem in the lower 48 states. And living sustainably is critical in our ever-changing ecosystem, climate, and community. To that end, one of the town of Jackson and Teton County's guiding documents is our comprehensive plan. This is a strategic policy guide we adopted in 2012 and, regu and have regularly updated since. Our comp plan commits our community to a legacy of responsible ecosystem stewardship to ensure that the abundant wildlife, quality natural resources and scenery, open space and climate that we experience today last long into the future. While much of our land is preserved as open space, the town plays a critical role in how we interact with that space and the impacts we have on our natural resources and climate. Our community's popularity and location in this rare ecosystem provide an opportunity to be a leader in implementing strategies for climate sustainability. To that end, our comprehensive plan has goals to emit less greenhouse gas by en enhancing options for multi multimodal transportation and the reduction of single occupancy vehicle trips. We are working on more policies to support people getting to places by walking, carpooling, biking, and taking public transit. So if you do get the chance to be in our corner of the world, please consider getting around via our start bikes or buses. In the summer, they actually will get you to your destination even faster than car. Our community aims to lead by example to show how local efforts can positively affect an entire ecosystem. The town's budget for the coming year, which we actually adopted earlier this week, includes an ecosystem stewardship administrator and a transportation coordinator. Both of these positions will help as we place more focus on achieving these goals. In addition, the town organization is leading by example in terms of sustainability. In 2006, the town of Jackson set out to be 10% more efficient by 2010. When we easily met that goal, town staff and electeds increased the goal to be 40% more energy efficient in all town facilities by 2020. I am pleased to share that measuring by square foot, energy use in town facilities is down 42% in this time span. And we offset almost 600 tons of carbon through these reductions. We achieved this through energy efficient renovations of existing buildings and by using sustainable materials, systems, and appliances. I remember in 2012 when I was running for my first term on the council and sat down with then Public Works Director Larry Pardee. The work he and his team put into analyzing patterns and then changing habits to save energy in all ways was impressive. Larry is now our town manager and I'm proud to say continuing that critical um, infrastructure. <clears throat> In addition, last year, the town recycled 76% of the waste generated in its facilities, presenting, preventing three quarters of the waste from our buildings from ending up in the landfill. We also powered all of our facilities with certified hydroelectric energy and generated energy from solar farms on roofs of public buildings 
and um, solar arrays. Our wastewater treatment plant actually is powered by one of the largest solar farms in the state of Wyoming. In, 20, in 2020 alone, the town's solar panels generated enough electricity to power 71 homes in Jackson for a year. And I share all of this because we are one small municipality and to think of the buildings and energy efficiency that we can do as one municipality is impressive when we could share that with the rest of the world or nation in doing the same. In addition to all of this, this year the town council directed staff to work with the Jackson Hole Climate Collective to develop and help implement a community-wide climate action plan. This initiative is still in its early stage, stages, but will be a comprehensive strategy for reducing greenhouse gas emissions across all sectors of the economy in support of our community's goals. It will include a baseline assessment, identification of targets for greenhouse gas reduction, establishment of metrics, and an implementation plan. I am proud to be part of the town's innovative team that recognizes that environmental health creates a high quality of life and will lead to long-term prosperity and security. This is not easy work or anything that is done overnight, but we have proven that making sustainability and climate action a priority leads to important incremental gains. Thank you all for being here today, and I look forward to learning from the esteemed speakers to follow. Thank you too to all the sponsors, many of whom we have been able to work with as the town of Jackson over the years. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much, Mayor Morton Levinson, for your leadership for, for the town of Jackson on these challenges.